Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I have a 12 by 12 scrapbooking process here today for the Scrapbook Nerd online shop and blog. And our theme over at the blog this week is Thanksgiving. And so my theme for my layout today is going to be thankful and it's going to be the title of my layout. I'm going to be working with the Pink Paisley Auburn Lane collection. And so I've just chosen this patterned paper from that collection that has the text on it. And I'm just treating it with some Vicky Booten gesso here with my brayer. And so you can see that I am just going to put some of that onto my pattern paper and then I am going to work from there. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to use for mixed media, but I knew that I wanted to use something. And so I wanted to make sure that I had a little bit of prime on that paper. I'm sorry, I don't know really what's going on with my lights here. I adjusted them slightly and they're just kind of going wonky, so I apologize for that. Now I'm using a little six by six stencil here from the Crafters Workshop, and this is called Scripty Dots. And I'm also using some Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink and my little distress tool. So you can see that I'm just kind of trying to create a little bit of a pattern at the bottom there, and then I'm gonna do some stamping over top of it. So this stamp is from Kaiser Craft. It's called Botanicals. And I love this stamp. It's gorgeous. It's just kind of got that distressed uh, feel to it. It's got some butterflies and some text and some other images, and I really love it. I thought I might stamp it out in black in VersaFine Onyx Black ink, but I wanted to test it first, and I felt that was just a little too dark. So then I got out my archival ink and watering can and I stamped that just on a piece of scrap paper and I like how that looks. So that's the ink that I'm going to use here. And I'm gonna just stamp this um, down at the bottom, kind of below where my photo is going to go and then to the left side of the photo also in a vertical line. So I'm gonna go horizontal across the bottom and then vertical up the side with the same stamp and just kind of create a little bit of a frame in area for where, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put my four by three photo and the four by three photo is in a portrait um, mode there. So you can see there how I'm kind of just, I just keep placing my photo back on there and just kind of eyeballing where I want my different mediums to go. Now, I had the inspiration for what I did here with this monochromatic layout was the fact that there was all these different black and white papers and black and white embellishments in this collection. And I t I've talked about this on a previous couple of videos where I just kind of had this idea that I wanted to do a monochromatic layout in black and white and just kind of try to create uh, something that's really interesting and a little bit artsy and something very different. And so I feel like you're probably, as a viewer, either going to really love this or really hate it. I don't know. But I just wanted to experiment with it and try it because I had all of these products that definitely... Um, lent themselves to that, to, to that sort of um, a scheme of like no color at all, just uh, the neutral black and white or cream. And so that's what I decided to try here. And so I'm just sizing my uh, pattern paper down a little bit here, and I am going to adhere it to this other pattern paper that's got that kind of distressed stripe on it. And I just gutted that to save the middle part of that paper. And now that stripe part will just be a little bit of a frame. So now I'm just taking the black and white embellishments that I've picked out of the collection packs uh, or out of the little packs from the collection. And there were two different packs of embellishments that you could purchase with this collection. One was cardstock die cuts and the other was vellum floral pieces and floral pieces of cardstock as well. And so I'm, I just went through all of those different ephemera bits and picked out the ones that either had, that were kind of like the cardstock with the text on it no color or the vellum black and white florals or the cardstock black and white florals. I also fussy cut some of the little floral pieces out of the, um, there's an, I think there's a six by eight patterned paper pad that you can also purchase with this collection. And I just took the small um, black and white floral paper from that paper pad and fussy cut a couple of little pieces as well of florals. Now I'm just taking that same stamp again and I want to create a little cluster up at the top. And so I wanted to just continue that same um, stamping up at the top there as well, just to bring that all together. And it actually almost entirely gets 
covered up, but I do just leave a tiny little bit of it poking up at the top. And that's basically really what I wanted. Um, so you're just going to see me taking a few other little bits of the die cuts from the collection. And I will create just a little bit of a cluster up at the top there. So that actually that little piece of that little strip of paper is the um, branding strip off of the that text pattern paper and I just sort of ripped off a little piece to go up there at the top as well just to create a little bit of an extra embellishment up there and of course that you can see that one die cut says wonderful and now I'm just kind of taking a look at it and I'm thinking okay over in that area to the right is where I'm going to do my journaling and my title work and now I just went into my stash and I got some black puffy alphas from Pink Fresh Studio and these ones are nice and small. I just really like the scale of these ones for this layout and I'm just going to spell out the word thankful and then I'm going to leave some space there for some journaling. So for the journaling here I just draw some lines with my ruler and a pencil just to have a really nice straight spot to put my journaling here with a gel pen. So this photo is a really nice outdoor fall type photo of the kids from last fall and I just really liked this image. I think it's um, just, you know, it's lovely and it's a great quality photo, obviously. It was taken by a professional photographer, not me. <laughs> and so I just really wanted to use this one on this layout and I printed it on black and white of course to go along with that monochromatic with the black and white. Now I wanted to use a few of these little bees to embellish with as well. There's butterflies in those images that I stamped on there and I just thought these little bees would be really cute and of course they are black and white so perfect. So I have a couple of little rub-ons from the rub-on sheets from the collection that I'm going to rub on here and then this is a little puffy sticker from the puffy sticker sheet. This Auburn Lane collection is gorgeous. If you have not checked it out, I believe there is still some of it in the shop. Um, I forgot to check before I posted this video how much of it uh, Joy still has in the shop, but certainly check it out if it's one that you've had your eye on and you like it. Um, there is a ton of black and white in there. If this is something you want to try, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a challenge for me to sort of, you know, not use any color because, you know, I love colors. I, I never do black and white layouts ever. This is the first time I've ever done this, but I just really wanted to try it. I thought it was kind of a cool idea and I wanted to see how it would turn out. And of course, I just wanted to get um, some mixed media products on the layout as well. So I'm going to just water down some... Um, I think this is just some Dina Wakely black acrylic paint and I just put it in a little piece of plastic there and watering it down just with my little uh, paintbrush here and I'm going to just do some splattering here with this acrylic paint. I really like doing my spl black splatters with acrylic paint. I find that it's you can just control um, the amount of liquid obviously because you have to add the liquid to the water to it to water it down. I just find that it's easier to get the right thickness there rather than just using a um, spray of some type or um, a different kind of medium that's black. Now I just wanted to distress the edges of the layout a little bit here and lift them up, give them a little bit more interest and texture. So I'm going to use my little distressing tool to do that. I'm going to leave a link for the Scrapbook Nerd blog and shop in the description box below. Make sure you check out what's going on over on the blog <clears throat> this week and today and also in the shop. And uh, I'm so glad that you came today and checked out my video. And please make sure if you like this get to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And I'd also love to hear your comments for this monochromatic layout today. It's a little bit different than something you might normally see over here on my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by guys. I really appreciate it. Have an amazing day and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.